Hello guys, this is eToy bringing you a latest SHF review, which is the Elegant Skywalker from Star Wars series, the episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. So Elegant comes with three head, we could see three heads, yeah. And then the box, you can see it's just normal design of the Star Wars SHF series, which Elegant Skywalker we could see and then yeah. Not much different from the other boxes. And then the side, we could see also his name and the uh, episode 3 name, the movie name, a range of the Sith. And the other side is just a picture of the figure. And the back, there's some promotion photos in action, so you can see. And then there's some description on the right hand side. Yep. So, without further ado, let's see how this Elegant Skywalker does. Here we are. This is Elegant Skywalker from. The Revenge of the Sith, the SHF Elegant Skywalker. This figure comes with a description sheet, or yeah, it's a menu, I could say. Just some shit that you know, normal comes with the SHF figure, as they would tell what comes with the figure with three pair of hands and then three pair of interchangeable heads, and then the lightsaber he got. Yep. Just the normal ones. And then before we talk about the figure itself, yeah, as I said, it comes with two interchange hats, which I thought is really good. Looks much better than I thought in the photos from from the uh, Tamashi website or from the display room. Yeah, both look really like the actor himself. One, this is this is actually the one that comes. Uh, originally with the figure, just I change it when I play it. This is the original one and then the other one is the shouting head. Yep, looks also very good. And then this one is the evil Elegant Skywalker which he turns Sith. His eyes would be a little bit orange or red from what I remember from the movie which looks also quite good. Yeah. Though it looks a little bit looks like he was blind and if you look yeah but still it goes well. And then he comes with uh, two interchangeable hands with the original two, uh, with the original one, and then there's two interchangeable hands. Which one is his uh, gloves? This is because he has a robotic arm on his right hand, and that's why he's with gloves. And then the other one is just a normal hand, gripping hand. And then the two is the uh, no, this one's the open hand. This one is the gripping hand, which holds the lightsaber, but that's strange right? because the two hands is different. This is not the same. I think one is uh, the right hand side should be the force force choke if I remember the name correctly. The force choke hand, and then th this one is actually the one uh, the left hand that he holds the lightsaber. Yep, he should be left handed. I'm not sure. I forgot already. Yeah, I think I should rewatch again the Revenge of the Sith. Yep. So that's why he could only use the left hand to hold the lightsaber. I think maybe. Is it? No. But from this one, he said he could also hold the lightsaber from his right hand. Yep. But I think this is actually a force stroke one, isn't it? I'm not sure it's sure. Yeah, the two hands is just different. Or maybe this one is the force stroke one. Yep, let's see. Because, yeah, maybe this one is actually the force stroke one. Instead of the, of the right hand. Yeah, but still, he could hold his lightsaber. I don't know. That's weird. I do think I remember he forced choke uh, his wife was name I forgot. Santa Amdella Padme, yes. So yeah, this should be the original hand because that's the uh, one that holds a lightsaber firmly. Yeah, maybe this one is actually the other one. This one is the forced choke hand. So the figure itself, yeah, looks quite good I think. Uh the middle's colour is actually brown, which might not be very clear for my phone, I'm not sure. And his head is also just like a little bit darker brown, but yeah, it's different from his clothes also. That's quite a number of brown colours from the figure. His hair and then his clothes and then his belt and then his two bags, all the brown colours are different. Which looks very good, I think, the sculpting and the colour. You can see his belt, the gold colour looks really good. And then his lightsaber, his lightsaber could be taken out like this, but that's weird, there's a hole in here. Yeah, that's a hole here. 
then I should give us something to block this hole instead of just leaving a hole there when we when he's holding slice saber. And then uh, his boot also looks great, his boots. So let's talk about the articulation of the figure itself, his head, to look up that much. And then that much, he got neck angle pivot, and then you time 360, and then his elbow could bend up that much, and then that much, and then 360 again. There's a double joint elbow, and then uh, he has a 360 hands, which should be shown better with this one. And then there's also a swivel for the hand, and then he could bend back that much, and then bend on that much. He got a 360 swivel, waist swivel, and then the bottom was as a slower but it's as a swivel. Both could be swivel different angles, which is great. And then his feet kick up that much. Mine has some problems. I don't know why when I bring you see, it comes out again. His left his left leg just comes out when I put it into the back. Yeah, that's weird. This one is fine, I don't know why. There's some QC problems I think. Not much. Yeah. Okay. And then the right leg comes out also. Come on, come on. That's just too easy. So not much for his leg. He couldn't bend back that kicked up, kick back that much. Kick up is okay. It's fine. I don't know why. Yep. And then his he has double joint knee, and his foot kick up that much. His feet that much. And then there's a articulation also for here. You should bend down. That much and then bend up that much. He got his got angle pivot, which all are just the normal ones that comes with an SH triggers, which is mostly highly articulated. So let's have some height measurement. He is actually about six inch, which is yeah about when he stands straight, just six inch, which is normal or oh, maybe he's a little bit taller for SH figures so let's set some comparison and then this is the jangle fat from the SHF also which the two just stands about the same height and then this one is the black series staff wade which works out for me yeah that way the elegant skulking the helmet should be much taller and yeah it's okay Though I would like Elegant Skywalker looks a little bit taller, but yeah. We know SHF figures are just a little bit shorter than the 6 inch. But still works. Yep, which looks great. And last is the normal, just the normal ones that I mostly show. And the Animal Fly River, which is the Black Series Command Degree and the Marvel Legends Spider-Man, which both are taller than Elegant Skywalker. It should be taller, but it's okay, wouldn't that much problem for me, yeah. So, this figure I think is quite good. If you like Star Wars, just get it. Because the head is just much, much better than I thought, than it should be. Ah, yes, I forgot that I think most of you would like to just have a look at how it looks and when it changes its face. This is the original one that comes with his face, which, yeah. I think it's very good. Not perfect, but it's you can see the side. It just looks like Hayden. Is it Hayden Christian? I forget this the actor name. Just correct me if I say it wrongly. Yeah, just look like the actor itself. From fun might not be too too similar to to look alike. That's the actor itself, but the side is okay. And then, actually, I think the best head that comes with the figure is the one that he shots. Yeah. This is much, much better than I thought. Because from the photos we saw, it looked like a bit as like a zombie. But yeah, this is very good. I will just display this head when Obi-Wan comes. So, if you like the Star Wars series, just get this figure. This is very good. Or maybe I think it's the best one we got in 16-inch series as the black series. There's not really a good Elegant Skywalker as like this. Um, yeah, I just do all the things you want for the Elegant Skywalker figure, which is very great.
just get it if you're Star Wars fans. If you're not a Star Wars fan, it's still worth getting it. It's a good figure, I think. The colour, the sculpting, it's all good. Just one problem is the leg that when I bend it, when I kick up at the back, it just comes out. I don't know why. Because this one is a soft material. Maybe, yeah, uh, mostly it's his pet, you can see. His hips just blocks the feet. So, yeah, just be careful. But it's okay. It won't bother me too much. So, if you like my videos, just subscribe and give a thumbs up to my video. See you next time. Bye-bye.